Hey everybody, welcome to another gameplay of Monarch. Last time we played, we beated the old man to a pulp. And um, we talked to Yora again, which was weird. And I think that kind of confirmed we're dead and we're part demon or part whatever she is. And now we're gonna talk to Sora, it looks like. Yo, Sora, tell your evil twin to fuck off. <laughs> or if it's you, because we're missing one Monarch. Hold up. Thank you for coming all this way. I take it you've been cooperating with the Pact Bears of Sloth and Gluttony, correct? Yeah, why? Yeah. Oh, not at all. I was only seeking confirmation. You are a Pact Bear too, after all. Okay, it's just suspicious. But don't forget. All of the Pact Bearer's ideals must be shattered in order to resolve the anomalies in the Academy. Right, we get it. Including yours. I, I, do we even have ideals? I truly am sorry for pushing this on to you, but it's for everyone's sake, Miss Aikawa's especially. Your mission, your fate, bear them both as best you can. The mist do we has have dissipated from point? the Academy's most pressing locations, thanks in no small part to the TSC. According to Shinya, the only areas it remains are the library, the archives, and the old dormitory. The mist at the old dormitory is most likely related to the Pact Bearer of Greed. That's a lot of Pact Bearer of Greed, huh? Aside from you, there are three Pact Bearers remaining. But the one whose anomalies we were first aware of is the Pact Bearer of Greed. I don't know the specifics, but their authority seems to be more capable of distorting the world than any other. I ask that you prioritize that one first. No problem. Interesting. Is that all? Huh. I expect something more major like... I don't know. Her being the Pact Bearer, the giant twist, or... Anything else? Oh. All right. I need to go back to the student council room. That way. Yep. Hey guys, do you know do you know who the hell is Greed? <laughs> Any hints? <laughs> we just stared like what's up? Welcome back. Yo. What did Miss Sora say? She said we have to murder these two now. Old dormitory? I didn't even know we had one. Yep. Oh. She means the building in the back of the memorial garden. Oh, I, I guess not. The archive, I guess, where our thing will be? Or uh, ideals if we do have one. Again, we're the last pack bear to kind of came into existence. I don't even know if there's a spot for us. Memorial Garden? Memorial Forest, more like. But yeah, I know the building you're talking about. I remember seeing it a few times when I was wandering around. <laughs> the old dormitory was closed off eight years ago. Though the garden is open to a few select clubs. The mist generally surfaces in areas around where an authority is used. Hmm. It is a bit peculiar for there to be missed in such a remote location. I understand how you feel, but I saw it with my own eyes. The mist there is way worse than it was at the main building, the second year building, or any other place we've seen it. I guess I confirm that's the main source, I guess. That Pack Bearer's authority distorts the world more than any other. It's the first one that appeared when all of this started. Yeah. I wonder what kind of power they have. God. <laughs> Be careful out there, okay? Make no promises, I'm really half dead, I think. Don't you worry. I can go with him. My schedule's all cleared up now. Nice. <laughs> he doesn't need your help. One pack bear is enough as is. Oh shit. <laughs> Sora asked me to help him, so I'll be the one going along. Vice President, 
I finished dealing with the aftermath of all the incidents in the other buildings. I'd like to help you out, if you'll oh. let me. Oh, well. I want to lessen your burden however I can. I would like to assist as well. I have managed to scale the mountain of work the TSC foisted upon me. <laughs> this is the strongest pact bearer yet. I fear for your well-being. You're important to me, after all. Aww. Would putting it that way be enough to convince you? Frivolity aside, <laughs> I do not wish for anything to harm you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Metaphorically, that is. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate all of you being there for my brother. <laughs> oh, you got Vanitas. Hope, sloth, gluttony, faith. Four ends assembled at Vanity's Gate. Huh. Dad, what are so alright, so hope. And we know who Sloth and Gluttony is, so faith. Right? Cause hope yeah, cause The road now diverges. A fork in the road. Take right. care, for the line can no longer be towed. Really guys, do someone? Stop scaring me like that, goddammit! Yeah. In all my time aiding your cause, I've gotten used to your grabby claws. <laughs> Thanks to you, I'm a Massachusetts now. Bonitas? Your every word I have taken heed. You plan to fight the pact bearer of greed. Do you know who that is? No authority truly outstrips all the rest. Even so, this will still prove a difficult test. Do you know what powers they have, Mr. Bunny? <laughs> well, naturally, of course I do. But surely, you don't expect me to tell you. Oh, come on, Finitas. You know, if I die, you die with me, kind of, right? There's a limit to how much I can interfere. Plus, it's more entertaining to be cavalier. You suck. So in other words, you're not gonna help. Yeah. <laughs> Be well prepared if you hope to live. You've a great many friends, and I'm sure it's much fun. But bear in mind that you can only take one. What? Roaming the mist with a large coterie can end up tremendously risky, you see. So I do have to choose one. I can't take a whole party. Oh. Why did you enroll here, Rio Taro? What do you want to tell me? <laughs> Only so many pact bearers yet remain. Just look what your ego has come to attain. Yeah. You used to be empty, just filler and fluff. But don't get to thinking it's nearly enough. Before you take on the pact bearer of greed, I'll grant one last chance to revise your creed. Desires are what shape your ego, they say. So answer my questions, and do not delay. How would you feel if your darling pet cat chose somebody else over you just like that? <laughs> Question two. Two of your friends ask you to hang out. Uh -oh. Which do you think is the better route? The one you find carnally attractive? Or the one who is fun and proactive? I find it fun. I don't want to Question right 3. What would you do with this fact you uncover? Your friend has been secretly meeting your lover. I should get angry. Question 4. Would you ever borrow a demon's might to achieve your goals at the cost of what's right? Oh, it is a hard. I guess it depends how if it's not for a self, well, yeah, of course, it's not for Question self five. If a video of someone feasting were shown, would you wish you had some of your own? Yeah, yeah. Question six. Would you get angry if your friend took your phone and made your icon something you would bemoan? I would laugh. Question seven. You're in your first match of a round robin tourney. How 
will you prevent an early end to your journey? Question 8. At your friend's house, their mom makes you far too much food. Do you eat every bit so as not to be rude? I would. Question 9. Would you train your strengths in lieu of your flaws or compensate for them with effort and cause? Uh, would you train your strength? I guess make up for Question my Question 10. Would you call yourself a reliable soul? The kind who would thrive in a leadership role? Probably not. Question 11. Would you press a button that wiped out your life if it let you start over without any strife? So. Question 12. Have you ever had the intrusive thought that the popular kid should die and rot? <laughs> what the fuck? Question 13. <laughs> That's like a first shoot. If a teacher was scolding your friend, would you defend them to the end? That was like some scooter shit right there. A school shooter shit right there. What the fuck is that thing that? Oh, those, there goes those popular kids. I hope they die. What the fuck? It depends. Question 14. Do you start a task but get so fixated that your sleeping schedule is devastated? Yeah. yeah. Question 15. I throw how would you react to a verbal assault over something that wasn't even your fault? Question it. 16. Could you hear someone's story with a willing ear if the ending were painfully, obviously clear? Question 17. Are you so firm in your own sense of right that you censure all in your line of sight? Probably. Question 18. Your close pal's girlfriend admits she likes you. And as it turns out, you fancied her too. Do you take the girl no fucking way. I'm not down. 19? No way. How do you feel when you see a stranger get wrapped up in social media danger? How do you when you see Question no. 20. I don't care. During a club or committee affair, would you try harder if your crush was there? Oh, that's some bullshit. Cause I would have tried whatever. I wouldn't care. <laughs> yeah, again, that's right. Cause I never dated or had a crush really. So, uh, hey. Desires are what shape your ego. They say before you take on the pact bearer of grief. Oh, that's, that's interesting. That's, huh. Anyway, so. Doing Question this, twenty-one. Uh, the person who was your rock in life has died. How do you react to this sudden blind side? Question 22. You and your partner have dated for years, but the spark is gone and you're bored to tears. You're asked on a date? Question 23. Do you hate when your friends steal the show with their boasting and braggadocio? Question 24. You've broken something important to you, but repairing it costs a small fortune or two. You could just replace it at reasonable cost. Do you go and repair it or leave it for lost? Question 25. Have you ever gotten so mad at a game that you toss the controller <laughs> fury aflame? No, I just scream at screeches. Question 26. Saying like, fuck. You're hungry in the dead of night. Do you get up and have a bite? Why not? Question 27. You're in a group project that's going awry. Do you think all the rest are the reason why? That perhaps they should have asked you for help? Or that things would be fine if you did it yourself? Probably not. Question 28. If you devoted yourself to live streaming fame, could you get a million subscribers to your name? Wow. It's gonna hit hard and home right now. <laughs> it's really fucking weird with, with that question. Wait, all right. Uh, probably not. Question 29. <laughs> what the fuck? How would you feel if your friend got a job and their salary made you look like a slob? Probably made myself question myself. 30. Probably not. I don't know. I just Say you scored 99 points on a test. Would you feel happy, perhaps even blessed? Or would you be filled with deep dejection 
being a point away from perfection. I mean, I mean, I just Question 31. Your best friend is solely to whom you confide, an embarrassing secret you're trying to hide. What do you do when the whole class finds out, which your friend claims to know nothing about? I'll believe them, and 200 more proof. <laughs> it seems your desires are still rather faint. You've limited them under much self-restraint. Your ego is formed by confronting desire. Perhaps letting loose more will help fan that fire. Uh -huh. Have you noticed that some of the questions composed had no desires in the way they were posed? The questions in question were intended to scope your spiritual kinship with faith, love, and hope. Desires can make one feel greatly empowered, but so too can one become wholly devoured. Should you use them to bolster your faith and your hope, they can turn out quite useful and broaden your scope. But be it for yourself or a person what? or thing, a hope without love will do nothing but sting. Your hope, faith, and love are substantially high. I I'm sure your desires won't soon go awry. From these seven cards, pick three to pursue, and I will increase those desires for you. I had to pick random. Oh, uh, I can't. Okay, go back. All right, cool. All right, who did I? Who should I choose? Uh, we choose with Carl. Good looking out, Mister. We hear, we hear everything. I'll try to pull my weight as best I can. What will you say? You will be safe and secure with me. I am not your enemy. Why am I not surprised? That's her whole, like, memo and her catchphrase for you. Don't put yourself in too much danger, okay? Make no promises. Alright, well, Ritaru, you're the best one, I think. Out. You're a shooter. Don't put yourself into. Oh wait, we could just swap. Really? That is interesting. We could swap in and out like that. Huh? Good looking out. I'll try to. Oh, we could. That's cool. All right, time to continue this journey, Rotaro. You and me. All right, let go, bullet boy. To... Wait, where the hell are we going to? The old dormitory. Where the hell is that? Oh, it's over there. Alright, let's go! Ah, uh, memories. I remember when she almost tried to deep fry us and cook us. Mmm. Just a little more spice that I probably would have done right. Huh. Didn't even know there was an entrance here. Why you say that? I've been in the memorial garden before, but I uh, came in through the bushes instead. Of course, this man is like Soru. Mm -hmm. Soru looks like the mist inside is more. His thick. name is from One Piece. Can't say his name. Try not to get lost, Mr. VP. We probably are gonna get lost. Just so we don't die. All right, time to face my fears. Holy shit! It seems this place too. Fuck, that is... <laughs> right away, the fog is heavy, Jesus Christ. That might be a... Big news. Alright. Oh god, so in over. If I want to leave, I need to make sure I run out here. Oh no, no. Did you come here to look at the stars too? Sure. Camping's great. 
Camping's great. Nothing's better than fresh pot of rice over What's that one? Think that's a crystal. All right. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. Oh. Hey, your friend's a true student council, right? How the hell you know that? We we were formed to like a couple days ago, by now, or a day ago, or oh, I know we were formed right after you were stuck in here. I went insane. Whoa, no need to get so worked up. I just got here. I'm still normal. I think. <laughs> you're investigating the mist, right? Does that mean you're headed to the old dormitory? I've got yeah. the key to the main gate. Hear me out for a bit, and I'll give it to you. Oh, God. Have you ever had the sudden feeling that someone you could have sworn was always there just vanished? What? Or like that their existence was covered up by something else? Maybe? I have. I feel that way right now, in fact. <laughs> That's the mean? whole reason I came here. There's a memorial there inscribed with the names of some students who died in an accident. Oh, Can no. you take a look at it? One of the names is impossible to make out. I want you to find out who it is for me. I can't remember, but I think it's someone I know. A classmate, maybe. I'd call it just a hunch, but something tells me it's more than... Please, you've got to figure out who they are. I could have sworn some... Miss Phoenix, we'll never forget the tragedy that took from our role. We offer to you your prayers. Not for the name I got a feeling the twist is going to be her. Uh, where, where's? Oh, oh no! Oh, give me one minute. I'll be back. <laughs> there should be an extra scene here. What? All right. All right, here, here. You seem kind of pale. Hey, welcome to, uh, Huruma. You're good to go. Here's some medicine. Okay, cool. Don't push yourself. Make no promises. Oh, please. Don't. Leave me. But I'm... Right, can, can we finally get a gross talk or what? Or like there, there are just no lines for them. Never would have guessed the pack bearer of wrath was in the infirmary this whole time. But hey, I'm a school doctor. It's my job to treat students and faculty who get hurt. All right. I don't have any regrets about helping him. Truth be told, I kind of get where he's coming from. What? What do you mean by that? What the hell do you mean by that, sir? Anyways. Uh, get, give me time. I want to. Do these girls say anything or? Like. Oh! Oh, here we go. What do you say, you Turn psycho? Oh, away. Oh, God. Is that all you say, really? I expected more from you. I expected more of like, oh, my, my Prince Charming is finally coming to get me or something. Or, or some stupid the fantasy. Of lust have the power of thermokinesis, the ability to manipulate temperatures. Leave it to a demon to completely ignore the laws of thermodynamics. Yep. That aside, I'm jealous. It sounds like it'd be useful during summer and winter. Why summer? <laughs> Why summer? Oh, for barbecuing, I guess. All right. Well, you know that's kind of disappointing. That's all she says. I was hoping for something more. I don't know. More, more crazy, I guess. All right, anime club. So where are they? <laughs> what <a> fucking nerd? <laughs> hmm.
All right, another one I had to fucking cheat. <laughs> Cause I don't know where to find this. I really don't know where to find it. See, I don't think that sucks with the last two maps. Last two maps, or last two, oh, I shouldn't say map, the last two like quests or whatever, the, the puzzles, they're just weird. I, I don't know how the fuck, I don't know how are they supposed to like let you try to figure that out on your own or in the game. Cause the rosemary thing, I don't even know. Unless I couldn't see it and I went the wrong way. <laughs> well, before anything, I should probably change characters. <laughs> But yeah, the, the last two maps, or again, not maps, the last two puzzles, I don't get how, how definitely the last one. There might be some hint that I couldn't find yeah, or something in so this one, I. but like. Good looking out. Good looking out. There you go, bro. You're a shooter. I'm a sword man. From a match. Yeah, like, I think that's one thing I, yeah, like, last, the last puzzle, I don't it's even know so if I could have solved it on my own, because it's just so random. You're good to go. Here's some medicine. Don't push your. I think, like, the other thing was the, thing was the, the uh <laughs> yeah it was just so weird and then this one i don't know if i'm missing a hint or, or i just can't see it or whatever i just can't i don't know i want to check this wait was there like a Why was the name so or there's something about her last name, name on the memorial did you find out yeah here Talk she died have fun yeah that's right he died in a traffic accident. Uh, he died. Yeah, have fun. The prison you love probably sat died. next to him in class. We got along pretty well. He was the first guy I... Oh, now I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad. I was just joking and... Ra oh. How could I forget him? Was it because of the mist? Thank you for reminding me about him. Here's the key to the mist. Oh, I feel much worse. <laughs> I feel way much worse. Oh, oh, that poor girl. How the hell did they die? It's not every day someone outside of the astronomy club shows up. All right, Can't open the gate. Great. Open the gate to hell. Charge in. Anything. Let me see if I can upgrade. Alright, it's, it's gonna be enough. We're still gonna die. Alright, let go. Time to die. Or maybe survive. I don't know or if we're that strong. Let's go. I I, I just realized I probably should have saved. Shit. Well, this ain't the ugliest thing I ever saw. Kind of reminds me of a sedimentary rock. <laughs> Actually, those are made up of a bunch of tinier rocks, so I guess it's not the same. So this it's is like free. it used to be a big old boulder. But now it's just falling apart. How'd it end up like this? I guess one of our own guy. Can't say I'm not curious, being a pack bear myself. Looks like we won't have the time to mull it over though, huh? 
Still, the pack bear will show up once we shatter enough ideals. Then we can just beat the answers out of them. I guess, unless, unless they're dead. If they're dead, I don't think. Oh boy. Well, it'll work. Oh no. We are definitely going to die like this. Haha! <laughs> oh fuck! Let's go, Riotaro. It's losing time. Riotaro, we're gonna die. Get ready. You're open. Here I come. ESP! ESP! Yeah, we're gonna grind. <laughs> Holy crap. That is not gonna end well at all for us. Holy shit. The pack bearer of pride oh. has the power of biokinesis, the ability to manipulate the human body. <laughs> that where he is. They kick his ass out of bed, like here. Say, say on this couch. Uh, what a useless man. Oh boy, yeah, we're gonna grind really hard here. Finally beach stone. Now I took it's grinding a lot. <laughs> like, oh my god. Alright, let's see who's greed here. Where's someone we know? Alright, let's see who is it. Who the fuck are you? Suffering, pain. Oh, <gasps> is it the f doctor? Lives are stolen. Lives are forgotten. It is a doctor. What the? Why? Why must they suffer? Why must they be in pain? Why do they have to be stolen and forgotten? The suffering from the past doesn't go away. The fact that they were hurt survives them. What? You know, damn, so I was right. The doctor was going to be evil. <laughs> I didn't, didn't, right? I, I didn't make a joke about that, like, from, like, episode one, right? Saying, like, oh, he knows what's going on. You know what that means? <laughs> it's going to be one to fill in. Lives stolen never return. Lives lost are never recovered. If it's just the way of the world. If it's just a matter of course. You know, one thing is, I do like this, his art design right here. With the ideals. And for what reason do we suffer? For what reason must we grieve? For what reason do we desire? Everything what? that should have been was stolen. Everything Damn. that could have been was lost. No, I was kind of hoping I was wrong about that. <laughs> Guess the I wasn't. The world is unjust. Uncaring and insane. Oh, damn. In this twisted, irrational world, 
Oh, don't pull a... Don't pull one of those anime flick... Don't, yeah, don't pull one of those anime characters. If I am allowed to desire, if I am allowed to want, no. If I am driven to desire and want, I should be allowed to wish. To have my wishes fulfilled. To wish for a happy past. For a complete and flawless reality. For a life of peace and tranquility. For a life where you are still here. Oh, I'm guessing that's his brother, right? Cause it, didn't they say he has another brother and like... It kind of hints that either A, they don't talk to each other or... It's right here, it's kind of hinting that he's dead. The world is unjust. Uncaring and insane. Therefore, fulfilling an insane wish and distorting the world to grant it is a small price to pay to regain everything I've lost. Yeah, but in the sacrifice of destroying everything. The world was unjust and insane long before I got here, after all. <laughs> oh boy. Whoa, I can't believe it's the doctor. Like, like I said, I know I made a joke earlier, like, like I said, in the first episode, I didn't expect it to be true, really. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Anitas? An ego that desires to take back what had been lost, paired with a will that justifies itself at any cost. Hmm. This ideal is fading. It's liable to break. What? And yet... There is one guarantee I can make. Among the pact bearers who have yet to fall, this one is, without doubt, the strongest of all. Well, yeah. For some reason, there was like a giant level gap. <laughs> it's weird, because, yeah, the last two films are the last two, like, Reed and, uh, what was it? I think it was Rap? No, Envy. I don't get why it, the gap was so huge. <laughs> Unless I just didn't realize that and I was just lucky enough that I actually, you know, level up to that point. But that was nuts. What? Oh, yes. As you tell, yes, I grind hard. <laughs> Not everybody's like almost the same level. Except for, uh, you know, the main character. But other than that, whoa, what? That is trippy. Oh, hey. Great work out there. Yep. Oh. Oh, is that where we're supposed to find it? Um. <laughs> huh? Wait, it... Flowers? What yeah. are you talking about? Where's this coming from? Uh, are you hiding something oh, from me, sir? Ma'am? Dr. Shiro Neko is back in the infirmary. Why are you changing the subject? She and Dr. Kakeru wanted to talk to you. You should go see them before you head to the old dormitory. Oh, hey! I'm oh, yeah. not sure why you're asking, but both of us love Rosemary. Remember? Yeah, I think I am right. Our character is dead. Of course you don't. You lost your memory. Oh, Dr. Shiro Neko is back. She and Dr. You little sneaky brat. So, if I'm dead, how come I'm here? And yeah, it kind of makes sense why, you know, our character has white hair and red eyes where, you know, everybody else, well, anime wise, have average color, I guess. <laughs> anime wise. Anyways, before I go out there and do the next part, uh, like, I'm going to hear, like, subscribe, hey, what, what? <laughs> or, or, like, subscribe, and, uh, see you guys next time. Peace out.